Hello, you're listening to Film Stuff Today. I'm your host, Owen Magura, and in today's review, we are reviewing David Bruckner's Night House, a story about a grieving widow who still feels the presence of her husband in her home in many unsettling ways. Today's film is regarded by critics as a film that, quote, offers atmospheric horror that engages intellectually as well as emotionally, and, according to Rotten Tomatoes, has an 85% on the tomato meter with 171 reviews. <laughs> Here with me today is my good friend, Maricela Hernandez. What brought you to the show today? Um, I'm a really avid film watcher. I love movies, and I love dissecting what they mean. Um, <clears throat> personally, I like to stop movies halfway just to like give myself a moment to think about it and even just digest what I watch, which really makes the ending more fulfilled. How did you feel about this film? Um, I really liked it. I haven't watched that many horror movies, um, because, uh, I never grew up with them. Um, but after coming into this one re blind, I really enjoyed it. I loved all the characters and even what this movie had to offer, other than just, like, horror. What do you think of the acting performances? How did their performances persuade your perception of the film's horror elements? It was wonderful. Um, I could really sympathize with the um, main character after her husband died she's really trying to keep it together yeah. you and could still see that she was going through something internally and all the characters around her both was showing sympathy and also just wanted to treat her as a human being any final thoughts regarding this uh, film yeah i loved how the film um had a difference between what information it showed you and what information it told you right when um when things are told to you it can be very stripping of like the entire narrative right we can they can tell us that she's grieving but we get to watch her like look through the old videos and watch her go crazy trying to pick apart anything about her husband but then the information that's told to us, we have to like dig in a bit, bit deeper of like, how did that character know? How did that character even have that information? What else is the character hiding? Mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you so much for coming on today. Um, we are not taking calls today. Uh, this is Film Stuff. Uh, caller one, what, may I get your name? Hi, my name is Nathan Noble. It's a pleasure to be here. Great. Um, so what do you think of this film? Well, I really enjoyed The Night House. Um, I thought the performances were very strong, and I was a little bit scared, especially as the plot developed and she slowly uncovered the clues about her husband's death and uh, what he'd been hiding. Um, I think that it made me feel more so um, morose than frightened, but... I think it was quite an effective story at the end of the day. And even though the premise was a little bit foggy at times, I still enjoyed myself. Yeah, no, for sure. When I, uh, I remember when I saw it, um, it was very scary for me because I get more scared when I don't know what's coming and when it doesn't feel like a cliche jump scare. Um, so I totally understand the, the engagement with that film because... Um, I did find myself on the edge of my seat while uh, the main character, Beth, was searching through uh, the house um, and, like, all the supernatural forces that she was, um, I guess, collaborate, collaborating with. Um, do you believe that the film kind of stayed true to the genre, or do you think it brought anything new to the genre? Well, I think this film was quite a refreshing departure from the trend of jump scare horrors that we've seen in the past few years. Um, although those movies are very, very fun, uh, I've always been more partial to psychological thriller style horror movies, which this movie definitely was. Um, I think that in the purest sense, it was very true to the horror genre. It um, sort of made me feel the way some of the old Universal films did, a very psychological kind of horror that's very wrapped up in what the protagonist is thinking and feeling. Um, I would say that it's slightly different from the modern trend of the horror genre, but a refreshing difference um, all the same. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Um, it's a very uh, complex and very, it's like it, the scares wrap in and uh, 
sort of coincide with the storytelling too um and they all kind of help improve one another rather than feeling out of the blue and just for the entertainment aspect of it um do you believe that the film could improve in any way well i will say that and perhaps this is just a personal gripe i'm always partial to movies with uh beautiful cinematography and while the shots in this movie were definitely nothing to scoff at um i didn't really find any really good shots when i think back uh rack my brain for any one that stood out uh i can't think of anything so i suppose if i had to make one critique it would be the visual style of the film because even though it fit very well with the atmosphere of the movie it was at the end of the day a little bit unremarkable but all the same it didn't detract from the overall experience so a fairly minor complaint yeah that's a very uh, very well rounded answer i really appreciate you being on the show today well thank you very much it's a pleasure to be on the show all right thank you so much that is it for today's film review this is film stuff host on the grass signing off good night everyone